Hello, my name is Nicole, and I just want to take this moment just to share some information that I think is relevant to today's society, especially when it comes to viewing television shows, checking out various things on the Internet. There is a trap that the Lord made me aware of that some of us fall into if we're not careful. Some have already fallen into it, and that trap is getting into frivolous arguments with people about subject matter that you really don't need to get into an argument about, especially when truth presents itself, especially when the facts are there. And most of all, when you know that whatever the subject matter is does not directly impact you. For instance, if I'm getting into a discussion with someone about a certain ethnicity and I know that I am not that particular ethnicity, then it would make sense not to get into any in-depth in argument about anything unless I have first-hand experience walking in that particular ethnicity's shoes. Until I've walked into that person's shoes, I have no business sitting there trying to force a situation or force an opinion, or force anything. But sometimes we find ourselves falling into that trap where we don't have experience in a certain subject matter, or for some, you have so much experience to the point where you come off as a know-it-all. And rather than talk about the information, what happens is those that don't know as much as you do what they end up doing is they start battling with your personality as opposed to finding truth and learning something that could actually enlighten them on a spiritual path. But, of course, when you don't have God in the picture, things are going to take an ugly turn. And so the Lord showed me where there are various traps that we can get ourselves caught up in. When we're entertaining people with, let's say, a sports topic and it's supposed to be lighthearted, but unfortunately it ends up being an argument between two individuals who think that their sports team is the best. Where is that going to lead you to take up time to argue about a sports team? Where is that going to lead you to take up for a celebrity that you don't personally know? Where is that going to lead you to sit down with individuals and discuss various religions, religions that you don't even subscribe to? Where does that lead you? Well, I, I'll tell you, it leads you to a headache. It leads you to upset stomach. It leads you to arguments with other people. It leads you to wanting to search out all sorts of information to validate why you, why you are right and why that person is wrong. And before long, you are not doing what you were supposed to be doing for that day, whatever it was that God called you to do for that day. No, you're down into some other territory. You just got caught in a trap. And some people get caught in a trap and then they stay in there for years until they wake up one day and realize, oh my goodness, I fell into this trap of getting caught up in all these arguments, commenting on everybody's material, talking about subject matter that doesn't even relate to me. And what truly is my destiny? Where has the time gone? Some people are going to one day look up and realize that all of their arguing, all of their writings, all of their recordings, and many other things that they've come up with, they did it all in vain because it leads no one to Jesus Christ. That is, if you are a believer. Now, if you're not a believer, then maybe you're just leading people down a path of, you know, breaking free from a certain addiction or maybe breaking free from some lies dealing with government or business, you know, something along those lines. So be it. But ultimately, 
there is going to come a point where a person is going to have to make that choice of good and evil. So if you're going to lead somebody down any path, you want to lead them on the path that's for their higher good. Not for the devil's higher good. Not for some type of I am God philosophy type of higher good. But I'm talking about a higher good where they're reaching back and they're helping others. Where they are not thinking about selfish agendas in the sense of taking this one and that one and then molding these people in such a way where they benefit them. And of course, not to fill their pockets up. You know, because yeah, it's nice to have a blessing, but it's a whole nother thing when you decide to build a platform based on the love of money. And those of you all who know the Bible know that we are not to love money. So this lot comes to my mind and I wanted to share it because I know sometimes people get caught into various trappings where they're arguing about particular beliefs or they're getting caught up in somebody else's argument, somebody else's fight. And that's not what we're supposed to be doing is expending so much energy in someone else's battle. That is not what God wants us to do. Rather, what he wants us to do is keep our eyes open, look at the trap, expose the trap, and basically be that detour to keep people from falling into the trap. Well, as always, thank you so much for listening and to God be the glory.